I think that robberies and jailbreaks suck, and today I'm going to be telling you guys why. Before we get into this though, please keep in mind this is just my opinion, and you're free to share yours down below in the comments. But anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's get into this. So first of all, the hype around new robberies only lasts about two and a half weeks. And then after that, all that hype dies down and it becomes one of the other robberies that just blend into the map. And after that same amount of time, the robbery also becomes quite boring because it's already been two and a half weeks and we pretty much know everything about the new robbery. A great example of this is the casino robbery that came out back in April of 2022. It was fun for the first two weeks that it was there, but then after that we already knew everything about the robbery and it became one of the other heists that was just a chore to rob. And that's the same with every other heist. It's there for two weeks, we know everything about it, and then it just becomes one of the other robberies that are extremely boring to rob and seem like just a chore. And now at contracts, we're also required to do those boring heists, which make contracts boring as well. So that's my first point, robberies get super repetitive after only two weeks and it's not that fun. And now my second point, starting the actual heist. Whenever you do a robbery in jailbreak, you could just walk up to it, rob it, and then turn it in. There's not much to do. And obviously, just like the first issue, that gets repetitive really, really quickly as well. Like, obviously, I don't want to go to the jewelry store every couple minutes, just sitting there at the glass waiting for it to break. An easy way to combat this is make it so that every time a heist opens, there's a new way to enter it. For example, the jewelry store has random floors each time you do the robbery. Why can't we have that for the entrance as well, so that every time you enter, you have to use a different route because it's randomly generated? It's also a good way to combat camping because the campers wouldn't know where to camp because obviously the entrance is randomly generated. For example, the mansion requires you to have an invite in order to rob it. Why can't we have it so that the museum also requires you to have a C4 to blow up the roof? And those two solutions already make it so that camping heists is harder, and it also makes it so that grinders aren't just constantly getting money, but they also have to spend a little bit to gain that extra money. And now my third point, robberies are way, way, way too quick. For example, the cargo ship gives you $20,000 total, but all you need to do for it is quickly grab two crates from the cargo ship, throw it in a building, and what do you know, that only takes about like 2-3 minutes to do. But then we also have heists that take like 10 minutes to do but only reward $3,000 and it's just not bounced at all. I think that a good solution to this is just making it so that for every $1,000 you get from a robbery is one minute you spend inside of that robbery. For example, if you're robbing the museum, instead of just taking two minutes to rob it and getting $9,000 or something, you could instead take nine minutes to rob it for $9,000. This would not only make robberies more fun by adding more steps to actually rob it, but it would also make your money much more valuable because you worked much harder for it. And then if they want to go a step further, they could try randomizing this process, and that would make grinding way more fun than it should be allowed to be. Obviously, this would make grinding much, much slower and irrelevant, but it would definitely make the game much more fun. And I completely forgot to mention this, but if robberies take longer, that makes it so that completing the full game takes longer as well. The main issue at Jailbreak right now is the lack of things to do and complete, and if you make robberies take longer, that makes completing the full game take longer, which then makes it more fun for longer. And now that doing robberies takes longer, that makes it so that grinding hyperchromes takes longer, and then it just slows that whole process down and makes it so that the game is fun for much longer. Now, I know those no-life hyperchrome grinders are probably yelling at the top of their lungs right now, but you gotta keep in mind, there are lots of new players to come to Jailbreak every single day, and if the game could easily be grinded this fast, that's not good for the game at all. Making it so that robberies, one of the core features in Jailbreak, is fun will make it so that new players are actually interested in the game for much, much longer. Because think about it, if you're a new player and you just came to Jailbreak and you see that robberies are easily grinded like this, you're not really going to want to play the game because it's just a big grind to get to the top. But if you make that grind take a little bit longer, smoothen it out, and make it actually fun, then new players will be more interested in playing the game and doing the robberies. But honestly, if you still have a problem with this, just too bad. Too bad. Think of another solution to make robberies fun, because right now they are not fun at all. But anyways, let's move on to my fourth point now, which is somewhat related to the last point, but robberies are way too easy to do. 
For example, robberies like the cargo plane, the power plant, and other robberies are way too easy to rob, and it's not much of a challenge. A great example of this is the cargo ship. Like I already said, it gives you $20,000 for barely any effort at all. Now, I feel like this issue would be a little bit easier to combat because all you really need to do is maybe add a few more lasers or maybe increase the amount of damage that they do. Like in the power plant, there are literally no lasers at all, and it's way too easy to get under the pistons, so maybe they can make it so that the pistons are much, much quicker, and maybe they could also make it so that the conveyor belt is much, much quicker as well. And then they could also make it so that if less than one cop shows up to a robbery, a bunch of NPC police officers also spawn in and assist that one police officer. For example, including all of the ideas I just suggested and adding those NPC police officers, imagine how hard the bank would be and how fun it would be at the same time. Or how fun robbing the casino would be when all those police officers are waiting for you at the exit. That, that would be incredibly fun, I'm not even gonna lie, that would be really, really fun. And maybe they could also make the police team a little bit easier by slowing down a player's character when they're holding like a bag or something or an extreme amount of money. For example, if I were robbing like the jewelry store or something, maybe I'd go a little bit faster because I'm holding all that money in my bags. That's not only a realistic addition, but it also makes the police team a little bit easier. And no, I'm not saying that whenever you have a bag or money, it should automatically put you at crouching speed. That's just really unfair. They should instead make it so that you lose like a point or half a point of your walk speed. So it's not that big of a difference, but it still helps the police catch up to you, you know? But yeah, I think I've angered the hyperchrome grinders enough for today, and I'm not really excited to look at the comments of this video. But either way, please feel free to leave your opinions down below in the comments. I'd really love to see what you guys think about the current state of robberies in Jailbreak, because I feel like they're just not as good as they used to be when there wasn't as many robberies, and it was much harder, you know? Obviously, robberies back in the day were more balanced and more hard, because there weren't as many additions in the game it was more simple back then but obviously as they've added more things and the game has gotten more advanced you know they gotta update the robberies to match that and make it balanced this video was not made with the intent to hate on anyone at all this was just made so that the game could be better because right now robberies are not in a good state and they're really really boring and i think we could all agree with that but anyways that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you've all enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one